Hey everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to Joyful Living. Today we are sharing one thing and one thing only, and that is travel makeup. I'm gonna share with you exactly what I travel with. In fact, I am leaving on a trip in just two days, so I have my kit all packed up. Uh, this is all I bring. This is all of my toiletries and all of my makeup. I'm gonna share with you the products that I use, and I'm also gonna talk a little bit about trying to stay as minimal as possible when we travel, and I'm really excited that you're here. So if you're new to my channel, um, a I travel a lot. I travel a lot, a lot. And of course I didn't for a long time and now I am back at it. In fact, I have trips planned pretty much every single month all the way through the spring of next year. So when you travel as much as I do, you really decide what your non-negotiables are. I've gotten to the point where I almost leave this packed all the time. Um, I'm in the process of trying to get duplicates of all of my makeup products so that I can have a set here at home and a set already packed and ready to go. So whenever I pack for a trip, I don't even have to think about it. I can just grab this and be on my way. Now, this travel case is from Away Travel. This is their smaller toiletry kit. They just came out with a larger one that I think most women might say would be better for them. I like the smaller, the better. Not only because it takes up so much less space in my luggage, but also because it's just easier to keep track of things. Sometimes hotels don't have great like countertop space, so it's good to have something super small and compact. So I want to dive right into this today because there are a a lot of great products to share. I will have links below if you're interested in purchasing them. Fair warning, a lot of these are very well used and I noticed when I went to get the stuff together to do this video, I need replacements. I'm gonna go with the same exact products though, so it's probably good for you guys to see it. So when I open it up, now the first thing I'm gonna show you before I open it up is I didn't even notice this the first time I showed you guys this toiletry kit. There is a zipper compartment here that is for your razor. Now the reason I love this is because you know how the, they have those little plastic things that go on top of the razors, but whoever knows where those are. So this is perfect because your razor can go in there and you don't ever have to worry about that plastic thing falling off and then cutting your finger. Have you ever done that? I have. So yeah, I was really excited to find that little hidden zipper compartment. So when you open it up, I have two sides here. Now I am TSA pre-check, so I do not have to take my liquids out. Uh, so this this bag, if you're gonna carry this bag, just be aware that they may give you grief about it. Although I haven't really seen them make the liquids thing a big deal of late. Um, so if you're not TSA PreCheck, if you can advise me here in the US what that has been like recently. But I do have my liquids and my eye stuff and my hair products on this side, and then my actual makeup on this side. I'm not gonna get a lot into this side here, although I will show you a lot of you had asked me to review those super ridiculously expensive little pod things that all connect. I think it's called Hive or something. I looked into it, you guys. I just thought they were so absurdly expensive. So I found these on Amazon and they actually have the little plastic lid, very, very secure. I used some little Planner Kate stickers to differentiate what is in which thing. You really don't need that much of most of your products. So I also have in here, so this is like my curl cream, because curly hair girls gotta have curl cream. This is my uh, Oil of Olay Regenerist that I use on my face at night. You need very little of this, so this is plenty. And then I have my shampoo and conditioner. Now I love these little, um, I think the company is called GoTubes. I think that's right, goo tube, something like that. Again, it'll be down in the description. But these are awesome because they're silicone, so it's really easy to squeeze the product out, but also they're awesome because they have this locking lid. So you put that down when you're gonna open it, and then you close it when you're traveling so that you don't have to worry about it leaking. I've used these for years, and I love them. And this is the perfect size. I find most of the travel size toiletry containers are just too big, and these are nice and small, and fit really easily in my bag. So those are in there. And then I also always travel with my little Briogeo uh, Farewell Frizz. This is just great. I travel to a lot of humid places and it just kind of seals in my hair and you just need like a drop of that. This is actually way more than I would need to travel, but it fits. So, you know, we will go with that. So let me put those back in there. 
Okay, now moving over to this side, this is where I keep my actual makeup. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is that there is literally only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there are 10 things in here, and that is including my lipstick, okay? 10 things, that's it. That's all I travel with. And truth be told, that's really all I use on my face for every day. I don't think, other than the fact that sometimes I use regular foundation as well, I, I'm just not a big, huge makeup person. I've never been a huge makeup person. So again, if you love wearing a lot of makeup, if you like playing with colors and things when you're on vacation, this is not gonna work for you, but it works beautifully for me. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is this tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier. Now, a lot of people talk about this. I was first turned onto it because I saw it on somebody else's channel. I love this stuff. It is kind of, I wouldn't say it's super light. I, it's actually what I have on today. I think it's kind of in between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation, but it's very moisturizing and it does have SPF 30. Now, typically I'm not going to wear enough of this to fully give me the, you know, sun protection I would want, but sunscreen is one of those things I almost always buy once I get to my destination because I'm going to need a lot of sunscreen, especially if I'm in California or Florida or Arizona. Uh, so I'm typically always gonna buy it once I get there. So, but this moisturizer is kind of like a double layer. I love the color. Um, this color is, what number? It's Nude. 2N1 is what I wear, and it's the perfect color match for me, and I absolutely love it. So Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. The next thing I use, I don't ever wear eyeshadow when I'm on vacation, but I do like to have a little something on my eye. So this is by e.l.f., and it is the Putty Eye Primer, but it actually doubles as, is not so much an eyeshadow, but it just kind of makes your eye look like you did something. <laughs> Looks like you tried. Looks like you put forth a little bit of effort. The other reason I love this is technically it's not even a liquid. It's this little putty. Goes on super smooth, super easy to use, and it is just kind of a nice little thing to put on my eyelids. When I'm here at home, sometimes I will wear actual eyeshadow, and this goes on underneath, but when I travel, this is all I do on my eyelids. All right, next up, since we're still talking um, eyes, let's talk about eyebrows. This is the eyebrow pencil that I am more than obsessed with. Um, it is called, it is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Wiz. Now I have had this pencil for a long time uh, because I have um, thyroid disease. My eyebrows are sparse. They're kind of weirdly sparse too. It's like there's no pattern to it. So the one side has this with a color and it's not really a color. It's more like just like a gel. So you don't have to worry about it being like a really thick line. I'm not very good with that kind of thing. And then the other side is just this little um, brush. I have found it lasts all day long, very simple product. Um, my eyebrows, again, it's not something that I do super obsessively, but I do like them to look nice and I love this brow pencil. So that's in there. Next up, we have got some eyeliner. This is really, really basic. L'Oreal Paris Pencil Perfect in Color Espresso. I never line the bottom of my eyes, only the top. And I don't know, I mean, that's a trick I learned a long time ago. Uh, I think I even learned that when I was in theater. A lot of times if you line the bottom of your eyes, it will close your eyes off. And as we age, we want our eyes to be as bright and open as possible because I think eyes are the windows to the soul. So um, I only ever put liner on my top. And then next up, I've got my mascara. This is the Chanel Le Volume Mascara. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this is a splurge. I usually get it at Nordstrom. You can get it several different places. Uh, you can buy it direct from Chanel. Um, this mascara, I think it runs like $35, which is an absurd amount of money to pay for mascara. And the first time I bought it, I was like, Jennifer, you are a fool. That is way too expensive. You shouldn't be paying that for mascara. And then I tried it and I was like, oh, yeah, we're, we're gonna always have that. So um, this is my favorite. The applicator looks just like this. I wear the, um, this is just the basic black is what I wear, and I love this. Love, love it. It is now my absolute favorite go-to always mascara. Also, I'm a contact lens wearer, and I haven't had any problems with it flaking off or any of that in my eyes, so 
hmm, that's, this is like my one big splurge when it comes to makeup. Well, the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer isn't cheap either, but this Chanel mascara, ah, just to die for. Okay, now going on to something that's not a splurge at all. Um, these are my L'Oreal, my powder and my blush. Now, these are sad sacks. This shows you how much I use both of these products. Um, again, I'm not a really thick um, foundation person. I don't wear a ton of foundation, um, but I do like to have a little bit of coverage so that I don't look shiny. I'm just, I don't know, it just helps a little bit. So this is the True Match Super Blendable Powder, and the color that I wear is called Warm, and it just looks just like that. Is that what it's called? Is it just called Warm? That seems weird. Yep, that's what it's called. <laughs> So it goes on really easily, and I'm going to show you the brush that I use in just a minute. And then the True Match blush in the color Cool. So this is warm and this is cool. I don't know. That can't be the name of the color. I'll try to find the name of the color for you guys. I'm actually due to repurchase these. So I'll put the link below to exactly uh, what I repurchased because they are in, like these cases are a mess. They're in, they're in bad shape. So these need to be replaced. But L'Oreal True Match, love them. Been using it for years. And you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I think. This is the brush that I use. And I don't even know where I got it. And I have had it since like Jesus was a baby. Like it is so old and it's due to be washed, but I love it because it's compact and it's not super soft. So many of the brushes that I see now in the store, they're so soft. I feel like they don't do a good enough job. Um, this might've been from Bare Minerals years ago, but it's held up really well. And the fact that it's so tiny, um, I know there are a lot of like travel makeup brushes out there. I will use this one to do double duty. I'll use it for my powder and then I'll also use it for my blush. So I only need one brush to travel with. And I think that's a really good tip for travel. And then this is my concealer. And this is so old. This is a company called Therapy Systems. It is so old that like none of the, can you see, like none of the lettering is even on here anymore. So again, this is something I'm going to need to order a new one of, but check how, how much of this I have used. Okay. My big tip with concealer, if you are over 45, don't use it out here because if you have fine lines out here, which I do, which most of us do, especially if we've had a happy life and we've smiled a lot. If you use concealer in my view, it settles in these lines and I feel like it ages you. So I use concealer very sparingly, but I do use it like here on the corner of my eyes and here in the corner of my nose, just to sort of brighten my face a little bit. And I do love this product and it's just little, little and compact and easy to travel with. We're almost done. Um, now this just has Advil in it. These are from that same company that does the go tubes that I showed you before. And I love these because see how they're just tiny and the lid just pops on. And we, we really don't need to travel with that much of a lot of things. And sometimes I get a headache when I do air travel. So I wanna make sure I have Advil with me, but it's really nice that they're in this teeny, teeny, tiny little thing. So I love these for medications. Okay, next up, my lipstick. Same lipstick I've been wearing forever, um, L'Oreal. This is, uh, what is it called? I don't even know what these lipsticks are called. Anyway, this one is number 843 Toasted Almond. I don't like wearing a really bright lip, um, especially with travel. I like to have just one color that's pretty neutral that I can wear with everything. And this is just super moisturizing, which you know you get with airplane travel and all of that, you get really dried out. And so this is my go-to lipstick, love it. The two colors, there's three colors I love in this. The Nature's Blush, the Very Berry, which I'm actually out of, but I need to reorder, and the Toasted Almond. Those are kind of my three go-to colors. And then lastly, my lip liner. And again, this is super easy. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in just a neutral color. So I like to go lighter than my lip color so that you don't have that line around your lips. The only reason I use lip liner now is because, um, again, with aging, sometimes it will feather and I don't like that. So it does tend to keep the lip color where it belongs, um, but it's a really light color. So I hate that look of like having the lip liner when the lipstick has worn off. It's just not for me. So because this is so light and so neutral, it just sort of provides a little bit of a you know, it's like when you would color when you were little, you know, just gives it a little bit of a boundary so the lipstick doesn't end up everywhere. So I love this. And you guys, that's it. That is all I travel with with makeup when I travel. 
I love that it's basically the same as what I travel or as what I wear um, at home because I don't have to think a lot about it. And like I said, I really am working on trying to get a um, double set of everything so that I have a set ready to go and I don't have to think about it. And yeah, this is it. This is really all I use. So easy peasy. Don't have to think, always know I have what I need. I'll also put the link to this cosmetic case down in the description box if you're interested in that. I have loved this. Um, I've only used it on one other trip. This will only be my second trip using this cosmetics bag because I originally bought it for my husband to be a toiletry kit for him. He didn't love it and I do. <laughs> So I hope this was helpful today. If you have travels coming up and you have travel specific questions, I would love to chat about those in the comment section below. And I will have a full packing video coming up next week on this channel as I get ready to head to Arizona to spend some time with my mom. So thanks for being here today. If you haven't already, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope whatever you're doing today, you're finding joy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.